the, the <laughs> um, there was a there was a time at school when I was in when I was doing my my grade when was it I said I think grade five six seven some seven somewhere there I I my wheelchair was broken so my friends used to carry me on their backs wherever we went so at that time it was around lunchtime. So they left me in class and they said they were gonna they'll come and get me when the play started there, there was a, there were there were people who there were some people who were gonna come to our school who were gonna do a play about AIDS so they said my friend said they were gonna come and get me and so fine the play started and I waited and then I waited I cried I stopped crying I laughed about it I slept I woke up and then I st I was stuck in school for about three in class for about three hours they had forgotten about me <laughs> when they came back my teacher was like she was she was so upset about it and she apologized and then I was I just told her like no it's okay I'm growing up it's part of growing up with a disability and then my 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 the principal at school she still even cries about it even now when, she, when I remind her of it. So I'm like, you know, it's part of growing up with a disability. You go through stuff that toughens you up, you know. Now, I, I, grew, up with, I grew up with that kind of stuff, not knowing that it's getting me. You know when they say, what, what, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger? That, that's what I've been living. What, that's what you live with when you have a disability. So uh, that, 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 that's, that's how I've been growing up. Incidents like that. Incidents like that, that then make me stronger without me even realizing that I'm getting stronger. They don't even upset me anymore, like even being stared at. Like even being, you know, being stared at or even being given a name. That, that, that people, and people here in Lesotho, they always claim that people with disabilities, that we are feisty, we are vulgar, that we are, we are bitter. Yeah, they say we're bitter. And then, and then I'm like, we're like, no, we're not, we're not bitter. It's not us. It's society in this country that gets us bitter. Because you treat us like, you know, like, like we're not, like we're different. Like we're not people like you guys. Like we don't like to go out partying. If you see me at a party at 12 midnight, it's like taboo. It's like, wow, you shouldn't be here. You're sitting on a wheelchair. You see, that, that's your only excuse. You shouldn't be here sitting and getting drunk. You're sitting on a wheelchair. Well, you shouldn't be out here getting drunk also. It's midnight. And, and you know, that, that, or someone will say, how can you drink alcohol when you're sitting? Or how can you have a boyfriend when you're sitting on a wheelchair? That's a stupid question. It's a very, very, sometimes I feel like just saying it, that's when you'll say we're bitter. Sometimes I feel like just saying it out like, that's a stupid question. You just asked me a stupid question. So, um, we, we that, that's when people that's when we'll, we'll or for example uh, when you're in a taxi a taxi driver will tell you to pay for your wheelchair to put it because it doesn't fit in the in the boot he'll tell you to pay for your wheelchair and you're like and I'm like you don't pay for your legs do you do you pay for your legs no these are my legs this is part of me and then there was like one time when I got hit by a truck Yes, already sitting on a wheelchair, I got hit by a truck. I got my arm broken, I got my arm, my, my leg broken. And then when I went to the insurance people to go, they said, they, they, they checked me, they, I went to the hospital, they got ex, my x-rays and stuff, and they said, okay, there's nothing permanent, you're fine, you don't have any other broken bones that are broken, permanently broken. So I'm like, so what about my wheelchair? It's in pieces. They're like, but we, we're not gonna, we're not gonna pay for it. We, we, we cannot, our, our law says we cannot pay for your wheelchair. It's not part of you. But I'm like, what do you mean it's not part of me? It's my legs. It's my chair. It's me. I cannot go anywhere without this. I cannot do anything without the chair. So it's like, you know, society gets us that bitter and angry and revved up and, and we want to say stuff and, you know, yeah. So can you please stop? Can you just treat us like, like, like you guys? A wheelchair is my legs. It's Lerato's legs. It's not a chair just sitting there on wheels. It does things. 